Over the past two years, I've been working on the roof on our long barn. It's an ongoing project for me because eventually I'm turning part of this into my workshop. When we first moved into the property, there was trees on the barn, trees growing in the side of it. So some of the roof line is definitely needs to be replaced. Timber. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's raining good today. Non-stop, all day. We got a good stream coming. Hey. Hey. Man, they're flooded. Yeah, but it's pretty good. We have hay in here, so they're pretty dry. Plus, it's gonna stop tonight. So it's not gonna be like this all night. We're, uh, so we definitely still have leaks in the barn. That one in particular is the worst. And I really need to fix that. There's a giant gaping hole in there and it just leaks all in here. In today's video, I'm sharing with you all what we're doing today. First thing is we need to move these chickens. Our egg laying chickens have been in this high tunnel for I would say at least a month. And now it's time to move them out because we need to start thinking about putting the high tunnel plastic on this. Do you want to put the, that tarp in here and cover? Oh no, let her out. Come on, Bernice. No, no. There we go. The chickens did a good job of tilling up our land here as best they could. We threw some hay, wood chips in here. Just let them go at it. <clears throat> actually, I wanna, actually, I wanna say they were in here for maybe two months, pretty much all winter. Um, while we waited for it to heat up more, so that way we can stretch some plastic. This way it's gonna be heavy because of the water, but yeah, but if we're all like I can grab the middle or you can grab the middle. Well, these are the healed up rows. This was our pumpkin watermelon patch that we had last year, and this has been covered fall and winter. Freddie! Oh no pigs. I already fed you this morning. In the past, I've scoured construction sites and sometimes they have plastic for their use, black plastic, and usually they're just throwing that stuff away. So stop by construction sites, grab some plastic to use as bedding for your garden or covering. This one's from Farmer's Friend. This doesn't break down. Eventually that black plastic, just a regular black plastic is just gonna break down. But this one is gonna last longer. We've actually had this plastic for eight years. <laughs> we're gonna save this coop for our new egg layers that are coming. Cause we're just kind of dwindling down on egg layers right now. And these are our nurse nursery home chickens. Uh, we've had these guys for a little while and they were not giving us very many eggs all winter long, maybe two a day. We have 18 chickens. So this is their retirement home coop. You know, the seasons are changing when you start hearing frogs at night and we're just starting to hear them this week, or at least I have noticed them, which is actually pretty cool. We're gonna leave them in here for maybe about a week. Let them get the bugs, let them fertilize some, and then, uh, you know, they're gonna knock down these hills. We're just gonna have to do them over again. 
and then we're gonna bring in more soil more amendments and start growing food in here we've had some massive rains the other day and we filled these up two tanks are, are filled It's gonna be super convenient to have this here while we water our chickens for this week. So the earth likes to be covered. And we're gonna use that tarp since we have it until we're ready to throw some soil in there. So back here is where we're saving some stuff. I'm not calling it my junk because it's not really junk. Uh, you know, some old IBC crates. I might use this for something. You know, tin, hog panels, gates and stuff. Before it gets out of hand here, before I start to start piling stuff over the years, I, I'm pretty sure I, I should start doing this gutter on this side at least. 80 feet of gutter what will happen is if i have a bunch of stuff piling up here i'm gonna eventually have to move it out of the way so i can put the gutters up so before i'm at that point and while i still can get to it we need to start that process getting on a roof is one of those things it's better to do when it's cooler weather much like fencing in a lot of these outdoor projects yeah. assess the damage here this one here when it rains it just pours in there And there is not a single screw on this whole barn. Not even, not even roof screws. These are nails. The thing is about this, about this metal, it's super flimsy and you could really just tear it. It's incredibly thin. I don't know if that's just time over time it got that way or if it's just really cheap roofing. But you can literally rip it like a piece of paper. Before I go any further, let's measure the new one. Okay, just gotta make sure it's the right size, right width, which should be good. as easy as I thought it was going to be. These nails are in there pretty good.
well it's not perfect but at least it's not gonna be a gusher Just for giggles, just for laughs, let's find out how much it would cost to completely do this roof. So I counted 264 sheets of roofing. Um, that's if I use the same stuff, this is just approximate, but you're looking at about $8,000 to put new metal on this roof. The same, the same metal here, that's here. That doesn't include screws or replacing any wood. It's just the metal. Or labor. <laughs> so I don't know, we're gonna use this until, until I don't know what. So far, I mean, it's fine. I'll probably end up putting some kind of coating on it, I think. Uh, I feel like the middle part here, the ridge cap is pretty narrow I feel like it should be wider so maybe replacing the edge cap putting a coating some kind of silicone coating on this and see see what that does see how long that lasts so there's another spot over there I want to get there was a tree growing into it and it's all mangled up and I cannot put a gutter This part of the roofing is the worst one. This is not really the size that I need because it's rough lumber out there. Well, this whole barn's rough lumber. Uh, so it's different dimensional versus buying, buying it at the store. This wood is all rotted out. Probably ants, carpenter ants, termites.
Well, that took longer than what I thought. I thought I was going to have more time to work on some fencing today. But I'm glad I got that done. That looks so much better. It doesn't look like a mangled. Somebody chomped on it. Um, and then also, I went around and tried to kind of prep where the gutter's going to be. Uh, there were some nails sticking out and stuff. So, so it wasn't too bad. And hopefully this year, this will be the year of the gutters on this barn. And that, that would help us with the flood issues that we have. Zeke. It's time. It's dinner time. I'll come back for you guys. You give any pig time and lots of rain and they will eventually root up. Even, even these pigs. Look at this. How cute. They're starting to root up here. Yeah, they've been here about a month in this spot and it's time to move them out. Kind of let them root, root around and see what they would do because we did get a lot of rain recently. I think what I was going to plan on doing is I might plant some seed after I move them out of here just to do it. See what, um, see what grows or if it grows and see how it looks. Hey, pigs. Come on. 